Welcome! Today we will be organizing my cabinets and my small pantry. So let's get started! To begin, we will start off by putting on our favorite movie, music, or podcast. Step one is to remove all items from the focus area. This allows you to see the area as a clean environment and really get clear as to what will go back in there and what you no longer need. Next, put on your favorite gloves and get your favorite cleaning products and clean that area. Now with all the items that I've um, cleared out from the cabinet, I really like to categorize and this will give me a clear mind as to what exactly needs to stay in the cabinet and what I no longer need. Also when I'm putting everything back in, it's easy for me to group everything into its category instead of putting it back in and then figuring out where it goes. All right, so do not follow this step. I left this clip to show you what not to do. As you see, I washed all of the items and the label started to come off, obviously, because it's not waterproof. So do not do that step. Instead, just use a wet rag and clean your items like so. I moved all of my items to the top row as I will be adding sauces and they actually fit on the bottom. So make sure you take this into consideration when putting back all of your items. Here I am transferring the same soy sauce into another one. I had two open soy sauces. Over here I have two mango habaneros that are opened. And I just put them all into the one bottle and now this gives me more room for my cabinet. Organized condiments cabinet, check. Now let's move on to the next cabinet, my glassware cabinet. So first step, remove all items from the first row. Step two, clean the cabinet. And step three, put everything back in its categories. Beautiful. So I decided to make this cabinet the cups cabinet. So I am actually going to just dedicate this whole cabinet for cups, coffee cups, all types of cups. Organize cups cabinet, check. Next, the bowls and plates cabinet. I don't have many, so we're all done. Next, I am transferring a lot of my original packaging into something that looks more aesthetic. This is obviously a personal preference. If you don't have any of this aesthetic um, containers, just go ahead and every single time you go to the store, pick up one aesthetic container and before you know it, you'll have all that you need to make your pantry look aesthetically pleasing. And here is my pantry. It's obviously not organized and super messy right now. So let's go ahead and organize this. I'm adding all the cans on the bottom shelf because obviously cans get a little bit heavy so I am placing them all on the bottom shelf. And the wooden shelving for this pantry has actually been created by me. I am super excited. I have an upcoming video coming up 
and it's a DIY wooden shelf. I have made it out of materials from the dollar store. So it really took about, I wanna say, possibly $3 to make this wooden shelf. And it, if you look at the end of before and after of my pantry, you're gonna be astonished. It looks so nice. The wooden shelves actually look like wooden shelves. Trust me, you're gonna love it. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that video to come. If you're watching this in the future, then this video is definitely out already and it most likely be in a playlist and the playlist will be called probably something original like DIY. Obviously it's not original, but you get my point. Voila, perfection. Now let's move on to the next ones. Here is the shelving you see before it was wired and now it's wooden shelf. All right. So here I am condensing a lot of my powders into a more aesthetic container. Um, it's actually not, uh, how do I say this? You see how thin the packaging originally comes from? It's not the best to go ahead and save space. It actually takes up more space to be in this aesthetic container, but I have, I don't have a lot of items in my pantry, so I have the luxury to do this. I would say if you don't have a lot of space in your pantry, leave them in the original container. And I got this really cute jars from the Dollar Tree. So definitely go ahead and check it out. It was just $1.25 and it looks super cute. Beautiful, let's keep moving on. And this jar is also from the dollar store, so definitely go to the Dollar Tree and get yourself some glass containers. This step is very unnecessary. My husband thought so as well, um, but it's too late. I already broke the noodles in half and they're in the jar. Now it's almost time for the big reveal. My pantry is probably the best thing that I tackled in my whole kitchen. I am obsessed with the wooden shelves. The shelving really is what changed the whole look of my pantry. It just makes my pantry look complete finished. Let me know your thoughts. So here is the before. All right, you ready? Ta-da! 
look at how gorgeous this looks so clean i love this let me know your thoughts below thank you so 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 much for your precious time don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this until next time wish you much blessings see you then